Namaste once again, uh, all of you. So today, welcome to you all to our virtual classroom again. And today we have got a new topic that is reading preposition. It's a virtual class on grammar. So okay, students. Uh, <clears throat> before we get started, I would like to ask you how many of you have confusions in prepositions. So although we have been dealing with this topic for the last couple of years or since our junior classes, we always have a problem is some of you, uh, some of us have still have problems in conf uh, prepositions. So <clears throat> okay, today that's why I'm here with you again uh, to deal with a class, to, to deal with the topic prepositions. And please students, turn page number 100. 95 and it's unit 18 reading prepositions okay are you ready so before we get started i'd like to show you a couple of sentences where you have to identify which of them is a prepositions so here uh, a cat so it's already bold i hope you all can guess which are which of them are prepositions a cat on the mat the class starts at 9 30 a.m the boy went to school the man walking along the a man is walking along the street the flies over the suits okay so now here some words are made bold and uh, this uh, underline so on add to along over and there are many more prepositions these all are prepositions so prepositions means simply so you see on the mat cat on the mat class starts at 9 30 what are these these are words or let's say preposition is a category of parts of speech so we have different eight kinds of parts of speech and prepositions is one of them so uh, uh, preposition is uh, a word or a category of parts of the speech so which links two nouns or could be two pronouns and so their relationship with one another each other so in the same sentence okay within a same sentence okay students now <clears throat> uh, please uh, now see uh, the same sentences on the slide so what are they let's see now I have already told you anyway <clears throat> Uh, prepositions are words usually used before nouns or pronouns means they are always used before nouns and pronouns to show the relationship between them means between noun like we saw in the example a boy in the room so there some examples are um, um, written there mentioned there boy in the room who did he go with he went with somebody who did he go with the bell rings at 10 o'clock he went to school now prepositions are words used before nouns or it could be pronounced and so is relationship between them is boy in the room boy they are really means the relationship is shown so between them within a sentence means within a sentence uh, they so prepositions shows relations so prepositions are used to show times so like class time motion or movement uh, direction uh, direction movement place uh, as an instrument so they are used before nouns and so all of these things okay means they are words that show time place movement etc boy in the school so all these the words that are made bold are prepositions preposition is a category of part of speech so one of eight and it shows relationship between nouns pronounced and they so they reflect time place movement as an etc etc let's see so these are all lists of prepositions in on at round during to off by for with from behind along through and now what are the types you might be thinking of types so we saw different prepositions there now they can be categorized into six broad categories so preposition of time prepositions prepositions for place direction agent uh, instrument and prepositional verb so so first one prepositions of for time or of time they are prepositions used to show specific time period at in on during since before at so they shows time they sorry they so time so class starts at 9 30 i will come uh, in two minutes so in on so on sunday so all they so time okay specific time period and place means they are used to show where the nouns are located where they are where they are found or where they are so they show the place where something or someone is located so at school so in somewhere on the wall over below over under between all of they are prepositions of place 
So likewise, preposition for direction means now to which direction someone or something is moving. So direction, preposition that show us way in which a person or thing moves to, into, on, along, uh, through, across, over, off, etc. Next, prepositions for agent. So agent means now casual relationship means one causes other. So one uh, means one is because of the other like and the jog is filled with water. So water is there because because of a jog, yes, they are used to so casual relationship between a doer and an actor, not always, a, not uh, some, like of, uh, of the field was dog fired off by a farmer, casual relationship between a doer and an action, dog by a farmer. Now here, water is caused, yes, because of a casual relationship between jog and water because of, so water is because of their a jog, okay. So prepositions for instrument means now what instrument? So what, be, like by bus, so come by bus, lock with a key, by bus, the, all these, means these two are instruments, okay? Now prepositional verb means, the composition is, means now structure is verb plus preposition, means some verbs require specific proposition, prepo, prepositions. It is combination of a verb and a preposition, preposition, a verb followed by a preposition. Some verbs require specific, not uh, means, uh, means, uh, means specific, some verbs require specific means they always come with certain prepositions, it's specific prepositions used to means to after them and also must have an object in a sentence. The object comes directly after the preposition listen to. We always say listen to, not listen in something. Always it takes specific purpose to, okay? Wait for, agree to with, it depends what is there, suffering from. So laugh at. So to uh, now these are specific prepositions that always come with listen means respective these verbs. So not only listen, wait, agree, suffer, laugh. So we they must have live with listen. We ha should have means we must mention to wait for. So all these things. Okay. So these are called prepositional verbs, and we have some other prepositional phrases as well like scared of, fond of, fond of. Okay. Okay, students. Now next, now let's see picture presentation of boomers. Now our book uh, has some means it, it deals with means it asks us to deal with certain three kinds of prepositions: preposition of time, place, and movement. First, let's get started with the first one with the movement because the picture is given first at first uh, now 195. So are you ready for it? Okay, now you see a boy. So he has made different movements there. You see, up, up the stair, up the stairs, down the stairs movement. So he went up or he climbed up. He went up the stairs, down the stairs, okay, down the stairs, across the road, over the breeze. We went under the breeze, along the street. Okay, so now suppose, now look at the picture here. So a tree is here, okay. If a man goes up, means climbed up, climbed this, this upward movement, downward movement, okay. So climbed up the trees, climbed down the trees. Now suppose it's a road over here. And it, if the man goes from one side to the other side, it is called across. From one side, movement from one side to the other side, that's called across, across, okay? Over, now over means line, now suppose here is a low, uh, low wall, okay? Low wall here, now means from movement from higher position, yes, your movement, so jump over the wall. So jump, he went over, now here, here he went over the breeze, under the breeze, along means now, you know, this, this movement is called across, and if he goes in a straight line, that is called along, okay? And suppose now, if you take a reference of one point, if he goes further, so then that's called up, or let's say this movement is up or down, across, along, okay? I hope you have all got the concept. The next picture. So, into the house. 
Now into means now go to the interior of something means now your the boy is here okay and if he goes into the house the movement of the into interior of something out of it if it goes out of uh, the interior of something or let's say the specific boundary is there so out of the house through the town means now through means now you through is used with uh, three dimensional okay so length um, breadth okay or let's say uh, height is there with through don't get confused with along and along and through okay so past means if he goes further a house is there and if he goes this is into this is out of and this is round okay this is round and this is called if he goes further then that is called past okay round the house and if he goes now he walked from house suppose it's a temple it's a house and it's a temple the the boy walked from house to the temple so okay students i hope you all got the concept now let's see the description i hope you all are ready for it so let's have a look on the slide again next uh, sorry uh, okay so climb up the stairs we saw climb up the stairs up the street or the road climb down the stairs down the street road the thief ran across the road a dog jumped over the wall now uses uses up means from a lower to a higher point of something i hope students you have no confusion regarding this point means and many others so up means from a lower we climbed up the tree up the stairs means from a lower to higher if higher to lower than down okay so um, uh, okay uh, next across means across means uh, from one side to the other side i show you, i showed you in the picture so from one side across the road across the river okay over means beyond the top or upper surface it's very easy over the the boy jumped over the wall now along along means movement on a more or less less horizontal lines so along the road we say along the road along the path along the river corridor beach is that clear so if you go from one side of to the other side that is called across but if you make a movement on a more or less horizontal in a line that is called so along okay and through is used with window jungle rain through the moving in a place which has walls are usually roof over something over something usually a roof or something over our heads in three dimensional environments like through the window we say through the uh, through the jungle through the door is that clear <coughs> next fell into the swimming pool fell into the swimming now movement is there so interior of something so movement towards the interior of something so fell into the swimming pool ran into the house onto onto means now walked onto the wall uh, onto means movements towards on a surface on is there so remember that into what is the difference between in and to uh, so please have a look on the board so the boy is we say the boy is in the room okay or in the house but if we use movement the boy ran into the the boy ran movement is there okay with movement parts the place the boy where is the boy where is he he is in the room but when we have to use or when we want to use with movement verbs we use he ran into the okay he went into the room now on to means now the boy is suppose it's a wall okay it's a wall the boy is on the wall okay but we say the boy is walking onto the wall surface is there got the point got the point he is in the room the boy is location where is he, he is on the wall but if he makes movement the boy walked onto the wall is that clear onto the wall he ran onto the whole wall he ran into the interior of something on the surface of something okay students next slide roll out of out of means now out of the movement away from the interior of something the ball the ball rolled out of the box and uh, next past as if you move further then that is called past so the boy uh, drive slowly past the school house to or on the further side if you move further so from some particular point or for some destination that is called past so the baby went round the toy round means uh, round this way Mo the boy ran round some 
focal point from some point. So round is a British means British in, in British English we use round. In American American English we use around. Okay. Next how is now next from means as I have already shown you on the board. Uh, how is started his driving from his office to the supermarket means from one point to the other point movement from one point to the next that is called around. Okay. Now prepositions of time. Are you ready for the next one? I hope you have now clear concepts about different prepositions used for movements or movement prepositions. Now it's time for preposition of time. Are you ready? So prepositions of time. Now time prepositions. What are they? So uh, <clears throat> at, on, in, for, since. So we with clock times we say so I will see you at two o'clock yes at two o'clock at nine thirty a.m. So when you want to say time prepositions of time so meet me at nine thirty at with clock time we use at I think you have no confidence it's very simple so at noon at sunset at lunch time at bedtime at midnight at night so my mother's my grandmother tells me a uh, lot of stories at bedtime we say that short and precise time or specific times specific times with specific time we use at and at Dosai, so for festivals with festivals and celebration, we use at, like we say at Dosai, at Tihar, at Chhat, at Christmas, at Eid, at Losar. Okay, we have lots of fun at, we do lots of fun at Dosai. So with festivals and celebration, we use at. I have seen many students uh, using in, but it's uh, completely incorrect. Students, please, please, you must use at with festivals and celebrations. So likewise, for certain fixed expressions of specific points like we say at the weekend, at the end of this month, uh, at the moment, at present, at the beginning of uh, some month we use at. Now with in. So in is used with uh, months, so periods longer than a day. So we say on Sunday, but we say periods longer than a day, we use in. So for months, like in February, in spring, 18, uh, 2018, 1980s, the stone is the past, the future. So we use in with all of these uh, means expressions, okay? Months, season, years, decades, centuries, longer periods, okay? So next day. So we use in with the parts of day. Okay, parts of it means I mean here parts of day. So periods of time during the day. Okay, so sorry. <coughs> in the morning, we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Exception we use at midnight, night, and noon. Now next to show the duration of time needed. So I can finish it in an hour, in two hours. So duration to describe the amount of time needed to do something. So I will be back in a couple of uh, couple of days. It means to indicate when something will happen in future. So I will be back. Something will happen in future. In future. So this. So for these expression we use in. Okay. Okay. Next. Next on. So on is used with, I think you, you are already, already familiar with these rules, so the, with these uses, so <coughs> uses uh, on Sunday with days, no doubt, on Sunday, we say on Monday, Saturday up to Saturday, so we say with days, week days we use on, so on is now, remember that, so we use in the morning, but when we say on Sunday, on Monday morning, evening, so we use on. Okay, parts of the week. So on for uh, dates. Okay, on we say on 14th February 2018, on 8th September. So all we, with dates we use on. Next on my birthday. So on my birthday, Christmas day, New Year's day, holiday we use. We when there is the word day. So have you noticed day, 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 day. Okay, birthday, Christmas day, New Year's day we use on. Okay, now students, uh, next, for and since. Now, if you want to 
So if you want to show the duration of time that you have been doing something, we use for and since. So for is used with periods of time and since is used with points of time. If, if someone says, I learned swimming or I learned how to drive and he asks you, how long have you been doing? Now, if you want to show the duration, I have been driving or I have been so doing something that you could use these expressions. So, for, uh, for to show duration, we use for, okay? To show duration, we use for. So, I have been working for three hours, okay? Or I have been swimming uh, for three years. Okay, so for uh, for three months. So and since is used with point of time. So three hours. So so for your years, I have mentioned them in a let's say so from hours, days, weeks, uh, three months, two months, three years, three decades, years and years and ages. Okay, likewise since. Now since is used with point of time, specific time. So clock time is also point of time. Sunday point of time. You say so I have I have been doing this since two o'clock since Sunday, since January, since uh, 2018, since 4th January, since uh, now other is used with, now when you mean, means when simple past is used before since means simple past. So it also means specific time or let's say point of time he has been drinking alcohol since his wife left him. Okay, so I have been doing this since my mother told me to do it. Okay, point of time means since of Simple past is also a point of time and we used since with it. Now, students, so while learning this, you should also know what means when prepositions, prepositions are not used. So no prepositions. We don't use prepositions at all. So at, on, in, when, when, when we have the words like last, uh, next, tomorrow, yesterday. So we say, so I met him last Sunday. We don't say I met him. I met him uh, last uh, uh, last means last Sunday or something. When there is last, the word last, next, tomorrow, and yesterday, we use no prepositions at all. Now, difference between on time and in time. So I have seen that many students they get confused in the use of on time and in time. Let's have a look on the board. <coughs> so on time and in time. What is the difference? Any idea? Suppose now uh, your bell rings at 9.30. Now you should arrive, so there means at school, uh, at 9.30, okay? Suppose your school time is 9.30. Now if you reach your school, um, if you reach your school at let's say 9.15, that is called in time. In time means before time. And if you arrive there at, uh, let's say, 9.30, then that is called on time. So on time means, means exact time. In time means before time. Okay, so in time, before time, let's say if you arrive there at 9.15 or 9.20 or 9.22 or 9.28, so means before time is called in time. And if you arrive at SARP, uh, let's say 10.30, then that is called on time. Okay, I hope students, you all got the concept. Now next, Pic uh, okay, now picture presentation on, of place. So I have brought two pictures here. So to make you clear about the uh, preposition of place. Are you ready? So place means simply where the nouns are located, means where they are, shows the place. They show the place, okay? Let's go start with the simple one first. Now, okay, next on, in, over. Uh, all of these are preposition of, preposition of, Place. Now you see, where is it on? The bird is, the bird is, the owl is on the box. In the box. Now you see when surface, surface is given there, we use on. Okay, on. So like we say, the fan is on the ceiling. Okay, the board is, the board is on the wall. Okay, is that clear? So on is used for surface surface and in is for inside something okay the bo we are in the class 
in the class is the class place where we are located where we are position place so in over means now over over means now like uh, uh, here the bird is over the means a little bit higher so a bird is over the box under the box means now uh, the means lower of something box so far far so near up the cloud so down the branch is that clear so next is the other prepositions are so past so the bird is past the uh, tree okay so among means i think you all know that among means uh, more than two so the bird is the owl is uh, among other three owls okay next two so next to <clears throat> next to and beside students they get confused with next to and beside so beside and next to mean the same but so we use beside with uh, animate things let's say so more with animate things and next to with used with inanimate means non living things we say uh, a is beside b okay he is beside me where is a a is beside b we say that and and I, now you say that uh, the building is or let's say the temple is the temple is next to the uh, hospital okay so we it is used with inanimate things inanimate things okay the temple is next to the hospital okay temple is there or uh, let's say so hospital is suppose temple hospital the temple is uh, the, hosp the temple is next to the hospital means beside the hospital okay next uh, we have in front of it's very simple the board is in front of me okay behind the board is behind me so between means two things i am between the board and the uh, table around means now round i have already told you so british english we use uh, we use um, round and in american english we use around so through means now from one side to the other side through through okay mm, that say through the jungle okay through the jungle so through the now you see the bird is from now it is moving now it's although although it is uh, it movement so although you can understand the wind is through the so the bird went through the uh, that little board or let's say little uh, paper or let's say wall or hole hole okay now let's see the uses now it's time for going through the uses i hope we students you now you are again uh, looking at the slide again um at the at so first at so at means i will meet you at the supermarket i will meet you at the supermarket supermarket so with specific places and uh, and with public places shops so specific places points we use at so at the supermarket at the gate and this is so 14 take off for with address also we use uh, at so at school at dentist okay so specific context context like at the back of front top bottom book of the book or place we say so please uh, so have a look on page number 2 we say that but we if we if we need to so specific context so where on page 2 so at the front at the top at the bottom is that clear we use at next at sony's party with events with events we use we say on birthday we say on birthday at christmas but when with events we use at at sony's party at last year's conference meeting etc etc next on so on is used with as i have already told you on is used for surfaces or if you take something as a surface uh, for that also we use on like we say uh, on the table the books are on the table board on the wall on the first floor write your name on the piece of paper okay so things that can be that can be thought as a as surfaces on a bicycle now with transport with large vehicles we use on and for uh, miss because it is as a surface like uh, a bicycle horse bicycle horse we use on okay 
uh, horse, bus, and for large vehicles, bus, train, plane, oh, sorry, spelling is wrong, P L A N E. So we use, we use on. And for small vehicles, car, boat, helicopter, we use in, or oh, in a boat. So on a radio, on a radio, um, uh, television, communication, we use phone, internet. Uh, uh, for communication, we use on. And on the corner, for if you uh, mistake the reference of roads, so we use on, like here. Uh, the building is on the corner of the road. Take the second turning on your left, right. Is that clear? So next, examples with in. <coughs> In is used with completely enclosed something for the something, if something is completely inside something, enclosed area or an area with a boundary. So on the man in the room, church, swimming pool, waiting room, in Kathmandu for, for, Kathmandu for geographical reasons. So we use in, so examples are here. So in the freeze, containers. So now money in the wallet, cake in the freeze, okay. Books in the bag with liquids and substance, and milk in your tea, salt in the vegetable liquids or substances next so from now from is used with indicating also for space and time like the boy walked from his school to home so dilu slept from now for time from uh, to show duration from 2 to 5 o'clock above is for extended space over or not touching like birds are flying above the sky okay below is for now when things are not directly under another Okay, the village is below the mountain or the climbers are reached below the mountain, okay, when things are not directly under something. But we say cat is under the uh, something, okay, when something is directly, then that is uh, under, not then that is below. Over, when a thing tosses or covers something, Sony is wearing a sweater over the t-shirt, okay, and under is used now when something is covered by what is over it okay the cat is under it come under the umbrella come under the blanket so beside next to the beside as i already told you beside is used for let's say for the kitchen is next to the bedroom or a is uh, ram is beside sam something like that next okay now you see uh, i have brought a mug here to make you a clear concept of the move uh, of the things different things are you ready for it <coughs> Okay, now this uh, it's a little frog. Do you see a little frog? Now he could go to the. It can go uh, could go to different movements. It jumped into the frog. Jumped into the mug. The job. The frog uh, means it sat or let's say it is on the mug. Okay, um, so it could go round the mug. Uh, yeah, if it is here, it could go. To, it could go towards the mug. Now, if he, it moves further, that is called pass the mug, okay, pass the mug, round the mug, off, jump off the mug, okay, away from the mug, is that clear? So, on, on, off, round, towards, uh, past, away from. I hope you all, all got the concepts. Now, let's see, I have brought uh, here a small story. I hope you all uh, 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 like, love hearing stories. So let's draw a picture, okay? Once upon a time, a couple living in the city for geographical reason, okay, in a city had a little daughter. They lived in their house. They lived in their house. Once the father went out of the city. Now he went out of the city for his work. The mother was busy in her work. Now what happened? The daughter came out of the house. Now he she went. She came out of the house through the back door. Okay. Through the back door she went out of the house. And then what happened? So down the stairs. So downward movement. Down the, down the stairs. She went down the stairs. Sat on the garden chair. There was a garden. Okay. And the chair was there and she sat on the chair surface, on the chair, on the garden surface for some moments and walked along the pavement. The pavement was there, walked along the pavement, along the pavement, okay. And then what happened? There was an ice cream shop on the other side of the road. The road was, means out of the house, there was an ice cream shop, okay. Ice cream shop and then what happened? She walked along the pavement and there was an ice cream on the other side of the road. She came out through the entrance. The entrance was there. So she came out and through the entrance. And she went across the road. She went across the road. So 
uh, she went round the ice cream shop. She went round the ice cream shop and she stood at the shop. Means she means at some point there. Okay, she at the shop. The mother looked for her everywhere but failed to find her. Came out through the interest. Now again, what did she see? Try to find her everywhere, but she couldn't. And see that she went out of the uh, entrance, miss out through the entrance, and became happy to find her daughter. She bought an ice cream for her. I hope you all got the. So don't. Um, I hope you all got the concept. Students, I'm very poor at drawing and handwriting. Hope you are tolerating it for the last couple of months. So okay, <clears throat> next. Are you ready for? I hope students, now you all got the concepts of prepositions of place, time, and movement. Now it's time for exercises. So I'm not taking much time. I'm not going to take much time. Next. OK. So prepositions are not given there. What is asked here? Uh, Time for grammar, read out the following sentences, supplying the correct prepositions where necessary. So what are you doing? So what, what, what preposition do you think we use here? So this exercise is given on page number 196. Uh, which, what preposition do you think is suitable for the situation? Do you remember preposition of time at the specific time, at the weekend? Okay. There was a loud noise which woke us up. <clears throat> Midnight, night, noon, what preposition? I hope you all are thinking of at. I went to Khotang, Khotang last Saturday. So if it had means if the means the expression is I went to uh, I went to Khotang Saturday, then we use definitely we use on when there is the word last. So what do we use? We use no preposition. Okay. I will see you. So on Tuesday, we say on Tuesday and afternoon also there again, we use on. In my home town, the shops open early in the morning, uh, in the morning, in the afternoon. So no doubt. So I hope you all are thinking of these options. So party is, what, what, what uh, preposition do we use next Saturday? Mm, no preposition. When there is last, next, yesterday, so we use no prepositions. Uh, my, his daughter was born. So born, so date is there. With date we use on. Luckily, the weather was perfect. So wedding day, when the word day is there, wedding day, birthday, on. We, we get plenty of snow here. So with periods longer than a day, we use, definitely we use in. Okay, in winter season. I stayed with them uh, for, so, for, uh, for three weeks duration. Uh, the stu students study in the library, so until, until is there up to the time, yes, until, until it closes. Next, um, it has been raining, so morning. So what is this? It's a specific time, point of time, that's why we use since. Now we have two more exercises. Students, don't worry. Uh, next, complete the following paragraph, closing the, uh, uh, choosing the appropriate preposition from the box. Now options are given there. Now it will be a bit easier for you. So round, during, to, or by, so all these are the choices alternatives, options. So round now, hi everyone, I am David and I live in Munich. Okay, it is in place, a place in German and full stop is there. So there and then, so summer to travel. So what do you think, which of these goes, go here? Uh, during, so during summer, I like to travel now destination, okay? To, to home, to Italy. So because of the weather and the people there, last summer I took a plane. Now here, from one point to the other point. Do you remember from one point to the other point? What do we use? We use from. So from school to home, okay, from Munich to Rome. So now again, full stop. The airport, we now from. From the certain point from airport from the airport we went to our hotel so hotel um, to our hotel 
So, and then what is there? To their hotel. So, boss is there, okay? It's, it's wrong over there. Uh, to hotel, boss is missing there, okay? By bus. By bus, we stopped at certain point. So, at a small restaurant for a quick meal, the driver parked the bus. So, now behind, behind, behind is suitable. So, behind the restaurant, nobody could find the bus and the driver. So, we waited. So, we waited. So, where in the restaurant? restaurant okay so one hour two hour so so for duration for uh, period of time for one hour the driver was walking through yes through the park uh, walking through the uh, through the small park uh, and then what happened and then what happened so small park of of the restaurant which we didn't know so we were very angry so with him, angry with, we use that preposition angry with. So angry with uh, him, however, my holidays, however, my holidays were great. We sat around, so around the campfire and, and went dancing till early morning. Okay, students, now the last one. Last one. Now, what is the difference? Now, some prepositions are changed here. So, Maria follow up and work in pairs. Now, you have to work in pair and find out what is the differences in the following pairs of sentences in these meanings. So, Maria went to London towards the London. What is the difference? So, to London towards the London. To London means uh, her final destination is London. Okay, this is the her final destination. Exactly, she won't. She wanted to reach London, okay? This is her final destination. And towards means maybe she wanted to go somewhere, but her final destination is not London. She wanted to, maybe she wanted to go somewhere from there. So it, it, it doesn't mean that that is her not, it is not her final destination. She went from, she went, she wanted to go uh, somewhere from there, okay? So Lisa drove her car into the wall, through the wall. Now, what is the difference? Into the wall means now she had some damage in her, means, the, means her car damaged into the wall. She met with an accident. Her car damaged, means her car went into the wall, means damage was there. And through means there was some, let's say some space, went through the wall. And into the means her, her car collided with means with the wall. Is that clear? So it means there was an, it was an accident. Uh, it means went through means from one point to the other point. The young couple walked along the river, across the river. So along means if you go this way, that is called across. If you go this way, that is called, that is called across the, along the, this is along the river and this is across the river. Maybe here walked along the river and swam across the river. Now, boy came in time, on time, as I have already told you, exact time, on time. In time means before time. In, outside. So, in means now, here means, uh, now it is something, some physical boundary is there inside the house. Inside, it means, they mean the same, but just only the, the, the only thing that the speaker want to say that he is not outside, he is inside. Is that clear? So, in and outside, that is the difference. The politician walked across the room, now across the room from one side to the other side, and around the, means now, yeah, this way, movement is called around. The politician walked across the room to say hello to everybody, and politician walked uh, around the room to say hello to all the people. Okay, students, hope you didn't feel bored. So it was a bit lengthy. So however, I think you all got the concept, clear concepts on uh, the use of prepositions. So prepositions, prepositions uh, of time, place, movement. Hope students, uh, hope to see you again. Once again, namaste and bye.